18 years old, me, K and Banks. Me, K and Blake's are robbing banks. We're, 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 we're robbing the f these banks as well. Like Welcome, listeners, to the inaugural episode of Sinner Stories, Confessions of a Sinner, where the shadows of the past illuminate the path to the future. Today, we delve into the life of Loons, a man whose name is synonymous with the change and resilience. Fresh from the confines of incarceration, Loons brings us a treasure trove of raw, unfiltered narratives that promise to captivate, educate, and reform. This isn't just a journey through the annals of a checkered history. It's a voyage towards redemption. Join us as we trace the steps of life, less ordinary, extracting wisdom from the depths of experience. Hold tight as the confessions promise to challenge, inspire, and transform. Welcome to a story of sin, survival, and salvation. Welcome to Confessions of a Sinner. My brothers, I appreciate that story. You made me sound noble. Well done. I tried, man. I yeah. tried. Yeah. Don't let's go. To talk like into the mic. Directly. Like, let's go. Talk. Let's go. Let's go. So, um, <coughs> with that being said, obviously, I probably read that like a madman. So, this is uh, Sinner Stories. This is about um, understanding that. What do you say again, Lex? Every. Every sinner has a future. Every saint has a past. Yeah, so, mm. you know, um, and we is always it? say this as well, sinners, judging sinners for sinning differently. But this is a time where it's time to kind of judge yourself um, for the better of other people. Yeah. That's what it is. So as much as we might tell stories, um, there's a meaning behind them and there's a reason and there's a mindset throughout life. So, um I feel like everyone's mindset is going to change due to the things that you go through through life, through the situations, through... Uh, there's many different paths that people can take, sometimes wrong, sometimes right, but it's just going to make you are, who you are today. And if, if people's lives can be changed by listening to people that, people's journeys that can inspire you, then that's our job done, really, isn't it? So let's start from the beginning, Loons. Let's start from the beginning. Let's go, my brother. Phone's okay. on silent before we go in. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay, then. So let's, let's, let's talk about where you was born and where you grew up. All right, cool. Obviously, Birmingham, 0121. Been here since the start. I've been here since the start still. And I grew up in Highgate was my first area that I lived in. Brinklow Tower, you know, everyone from that area knows that tower, you know, it's kind of notorious, so yeah. So what, you grow up with uh, a Jama uh, Jamaican descendant, are you, you born here? Yes, 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 my, so, um, my nan, obviously Jamaican. Your mum and dad Jamaican? Nah, my mum was born over here. Okay, but come from Jamaica. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what, what would you say growing up like was like in that area? At the time, obviously, I was only a child when I lived in Highgate, and it like I was literally just a baby, probably like five years old, so I don't really remember it too tough. I moved to Bossa Leaf. Yeah, pretty much when I was like six years old. So. You know, why did you move? Um, you know how it goes. Mum wanted out the house now, you know, I mean, out the flat now. We live on okay. the top floor. She's a single mother. Get us a fucking house now, you know. Shelly next door got one, so why can't we? Yeah, makes sense, mm -hmm. makes sense, makes sense. So, so you have siblings? Yeah, or is it, just it was just me and my mum at the time oh, back yeah, then. Yeah. Talking so like the 90s now. Yeah. So you'd say it was a, it, you probably grew up in more of a struggle then from... 100%, bro. 100%, bro. When I mean struggle, I mean struggle. It was just me and my mum, bro. You know, I'm staying at my nan's. Bro, I'm staying at my nan's most of the week, blood. And my nan was, she's a good woman. I love her to, de I love her to death, 100%, but... You know, my nan was old school, man. I had to be in bed six o'clock on a weekday, <laughs> you know. Sun shining like this. Deep. Yo, I remember them deep, days, you know. Bro. I remember them days, you know. You can hear the kids. Yeah, You can hear bro. the kids outside, bro. 
And it's like, nah, nah, let me go outside. She's talking about, yeah, early to rise, early to bed, early to rise. So, yeah, it was deep. It was deep. Okay, then. It so, was deep. So, why, why, why would you say that you had to stay at your nan's? Come on, mum was working two jobs. She was getting this bread, bro, you know. She was doing what she needed to do to make sure that I was, what can I say, cared for. So, would you say that um, your mum is a strong part in your life like 100 percent. my mom's my rock my mom's my role model you yeah. know me and my mom's bond's crazy it's my, i'm not even gonna lie you can ask anyone that knows me and my mom we're yeah. very close we're very close we went we went through a lot together you know me and her for 10 years yeah so what, what about your dad then you know because i'm older now mm. and i know women i'm not even gonna get on to him too too tough but yeah long story short he went really there like that Okay. I ain't okay. met no one in my dad's family apart from my uncle. Till now? I ain't met no one in my dad's family till yet. Still, oh, yet. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I met my nan, but yeah, all his sisters, all their siblings and that. So you cool with what? your dad now, though? Yeah, only, only, only now, though. Literally, yeah. only now. I come out a week ago. I yeah. said, brother, okay. obviously, he was kind of, was kind of talking through my sister, but yeah, I'm yeah. stubborn. You know, I'm stubborn. So, yeah, it, it took me a while to put myself in his shoes and understand certain situations. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I've I've messaged him when I've got out, I've I've messaged him now I'm out and I've said, Joe, let me settle a bit and I'm I, I'm gonna come and see you. So yeah. yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. So okay then so moving area where do you say you move to Borsa Heath now? Mm-hmm. Five years old, moved to Borsa Heath. Out of the flats now. Mm-hmm. Can you get closer to the mic, sorry? <laughs> Talk each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out of the flats now. Um, what's life like now then? Would you say now, less of a struggle? For No. L- no, I'm bored. I'm bored, bro. Yeah. What age are you now? I'm like six, seven now. I'm like, I'm, I'm still I'm still a kid. I'm still yeah, a kid, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah. a kid. Like, I'm still a kid, bro. Life only got really interesting when I got to secondary school. Secondary but school. from like six, seven to like, 14. Yeah. I was lonely, bro. When you're saying lonely, it, it, family lonely. I had lonely cousins. Or, I had yeah, a lot of cousins yeah. in that, but I never had no male to take me out, bro. You know, Mm-mm. I had to go to my mom. I mean, I had to go to my nans, as I kept saying. Like, I had uncles in that. One of them, obviously, was in my life. That's my uncle Richard. But my uncle Tom, he weren't really there. Like, he was there, but he was an old man as well. So, mm. he weren't really... Say that Sibli- again. These your mom's siblings, sorry. Nah, my uncle right. Tom's my mom's brother. Okay. And my uncle Richie, that's my um, my auntie's my auntie's husband. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay then. So. I needed, I needed, I needed someone to take me out. I needed, I needed, I needed a man to do man stuff with me, me as a kid, bro. Give, give, give us a story then, like in terms of between that age gap where you're saying you're lonely, like something that people can understand what you mean. In- Alright then, cool. I remember. All right, and cool. My nan had, my nan, my nan, my dad had a flat at the back of my nan's. Mm. I remember always running to the end of the road, hoping that I was going to see my dad's car at the, um, in his, in his car park. Mm. Anytime I seen his car in the car park, I would wait on that street until dumb times, yeah. hoping that I'm going to see him. I never seen this nigga. The one time I seen him, he took me shot. My nan, my aunties went crazy. Where did you go? Where did you go? I'm saying, yo, I was with my dad. Mm. You know, obviously my dad done some things that he shouldn't have done. So they got nothing but resentment to him. But to mm. me, that's my dad. You know, I needed someone. Mm. I remember, all right, then the next time. Um, how did this story go? I can't even remember that one too tough, but yeah. So would you say, yeah, um, Okay, then as grown ups, yeah, yeah, people might do bad things and on all that, yeah, but yeah. um, maybe uh, was you aware of that at that age? As like, was you aware that your dad was was seen as bad then by some people? Hundred like, percent. I remember at one time. So how, how, like, like, how did that resonate to you then? Like, it made me not like him. Yeah, mm-hmm. it made me hate him. Like, I remember at one time being a kid saying, "Yo, when I get older, I'm gonna kill my dad." So you know. Home. But that's because my aunties and my mum were talking so badly of him. Badly of him. But that's because he hurt my mum. 
So that's what it is. Protection over your mum. Yeah. Basically. So that's why you're saying you understand now. I understand it now because yeah. I know women, yeah. I'm older. And you know yeah. yourself as a man now. Yeah, so really and truly, I know certain yeah. things like, yeah. I know my mum ain't an angel, yeah. Yeah. you know, but your mum's your mum. Yeah, but yeah, now, yeah, I'm, yeah, now yeah. I'm older yeah. and I've got my own girl and my own kid. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I get so, it now. So then do you think at that age it might have gave you a, a bit of anger then? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, are you mad? Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to chill with me. Like, yeah. I'm a great kid. Not yeah, to kiss yeah, my own yeah, ass, yeah, but yo, yeah, I was a great yeah, kid, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. And was you, you don't a good kid? Chill with was me. you a good kid though? Yeah, manageable, respectful. I was raised right, bro. So what was your turning point then? My turning point. I tried. My turning point. I'll be honest, bro. I was on. I was. I, I came back from a school football game one set. I remember this day like it was yesterday. I was coming back from a school football game. There was a couple older lads on the back of the bus. This is for home robbery days, ladies and gentlemen. How old are you now? I'm like, I'm 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah. I'm 14. No, no, no. I'm in year seven. So what's that? Yeah. 11. Yeah. I'm 11. Yeah. I'm 11, ladies and gentlemen. Picture mm. me, 11 years old, bro. Just got my little new Nokia. I don't even know if you remember it. It had, <laughs> it had, this, it had the, the lights that used to light up at the side of it and that, bro. Yeah, well, my brethren had um, my brethren had his little chaps on, and his ring. Mm. We just come back from a football game. We're innocent. Mm. We're talking football on the thirty-five bus, bro. I don't know why these geezers got the energy, but they got the energy, bro. All right, cool. One of them sat next to me, old school thing. The other one sat next to my brethren. What's your name? Where you from? You know the usual shit. All right, mm. cool. Told them where we're from. What our names was. All right, cool. They're trying to say, yeah, what you got for me? <laughs> nigga, how you mean? What you got for me? You know? <laughs> bro, my other nigga now, he's getting finessed. I can yeah. see what's happening, bro. You know, the nigga's got his arm, his finger around his ring. Yeah, he's yeah. got his arm around his belt, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty much in the rubber's hands now. Yeah. I'm looking at him like, brother, I'm not going out like that, you know, blood. I'm saying, yo, yeah, I got to go. This is my stop. I'm like five stops away from home. I'm saying, yeah, this is my stop. I got to go. Long story short, bro, I pushed past my man. He ain't kind of letting me go. Bro, he's asked, me, he's asked me for my phone again, bro. I said, you ain't getting my phone. Long story short, he's dropped me, bro. I've got back up, got off the bus. I'm an innocent, bro. Yeah. I'm innocent little boy. I don't know what I'm going to do against this old. big ass man. <laughs> you know, I kept my phone though. You know, bro, I kept my phone though. I got off the bus and from then, I was like, yeah, that's never happening again. Yeah. That's yeah. never happening again. I need to hit the roads. I need to find a gang. This is exactly my, my thought process. Okay. Them man tried me. I don't even know where they're from and they think they can rob me. Are you mad? Yeah. How, how was that making you feel whilst, you know, you're potentially about to be robbed? What, Bro, what I felt like a you? victim. Was you shook, though? No, or was you, was you, was you? Of course I was shook. I was yeah. a little boy. I'm thinking, yo, bro, this nigga's massive. Yeah. You know? Mm. And you want my phone, bro. Like, what are you on about? I was scared, man, but at the same time, I never gave him my phone, yeah, blood. I'm yeah, gassed yeah, about yeah, that, bro. Yeah, yeah. A lot of kids probably would have gave their Yeah, phone 100%. Like that. I told you, my yeah. bridging got finessed. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to mention his name. You know who you are. Bro, <laughs> I ain't going to mention his name, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. They never got my phone, dickheads. So, so basically, from that point there, mm. you thought... It was a rap. It was a rap. You need to join I the was gang. On the street. I was on the streets within a week. Yeah. 100%. I hit the street within a week. So that was like a big Yeah. Point of I felt like a victim, bro. I felt like a yeah. victim, bro. Like, no so what did what, what did hitting the street then, what did that mean then? Because obviously... For me, in my head, I felt like, yeah, I was going to get in a gang. I was going to do a little ini mm. initiation. You know how you see in the films, they'll beat you up and then, yeah, you gang for life now. Yeah. Everyone's going to do the whole yeah. American thing. That's how you thought it was going to be. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, ain't never, nigga ain't never went like that still. <laughs> It never went like that still. It took me a while. I remember witnessing some shit on the street that I'd never seen before. I seen about 20 niggas stamp the shit out of one, sorry. I seen about 20 brothers stamp the shit out of one guy from, and that made me run back inside. Mm. I was like, yeah, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this still. So what is this, is it? And then I went back out and then I stayed out. So, wait, so were your guys like from your ends though, like, or? Who, KB yeah. and Blakes? 
or like, or well, this is what I'm saying. So, so obviously you're saying you went to find a gang. Yeah. yeah. You, so, just, you just mentioned two names there. Yeah. Is that who you're saying? No, nah, not originally. Not yeah. originally. Originally, I was I was with I was with Fat Man, Roma, MNS, bro. Yeah. You know. They're all from the same area. Yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. so that gang that you found, was it based on, yo, I need to feel protected or was it based on these people have a similar mindset to me then? Nah, my point. thing was, all right, cool. I needed a way in on the ends. Mm. This is my thought process. I need a way in on the ends. Obviously, there's bare man. The gang at the time was UTS, but I never really knew no one in UTS. Okay. I knew a man in MNS though. Yeah. So boom. I linked up with my man yeah. just to get on the ends then. When oh. I got on the ends, I met everyone and that's when I started socializing then, you know. That's how I that's how I got on. So it wasn't it wasn't just all about just I need to be in a gang for nah. to be on on, on badness. Nah, it was, it was, I need I need I need respect. I need to know people on my block. Like people yeah. need to know me mm-hmm. on the block, you know. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. What's the least way bigger than Mary Street, mm. you know? Okay then. So what so what age is this bringing us up to then? Like in terms of Well This is what yeah. I'm saying. It's kind like of how, mad because like, I went to jail at fifteen. Okay. So this is kind of quick now. I hit road at fourteen. By and fifteen, I'm in jail. And what did you go to jail for? I went to jail for a robbery, three three form robberies and a stabbing. So basically, what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? When it's you was, mad. It's mad. You're saying yes. you're you're you're, yes. you're becoming the, yes. the attacker now. Yes. Rather yes. than the victim. Yes. So really, you took the statement of not being a victim because I realized, yo, all right, cool, you can do the road thing, but you need to get money. How are we getting money? Yeah. All right, cool. Form robberies. Because that's, that's how, what happened to you. Yeah. yeah. Kinda, okay, yeah. that's what happened to me, yeah. and also back well, then, yeah. phone robberies. That's what was going on. That's what it was. That was the time still, yeah. and obviously, that was the most value that people had on them at the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Except jewelry, probably. Yeah, we're talking ages ago as well. You know, people like oh six yeah, right now, like oh ago. six, oh seven, oh so seven. You, I went jail. So you went jail at, for, 15, for phone robberies. Fifteen. Yeah. What was that like then? Bro, that was mad. You know like, why when that... I say what's that like? I mean, like you've just been locked up. You know you're going jail. Yeah. Like, take us through that process. That you, I'll be at, honest. At Fifteen years old. Because I'm be sure honest. it's not the this same. This is a fact that it's gonna make me sound crazy. Yeah. But bro, I was excited. Okay. I was yeah. excited. I'm thinking, yeah, fifteen years old. I'm going to jail. I've heard so much about jail, yeah, yeah. and I've seen so many niggas go to jail and get big. I'm thinking, alright, cool. <laughs> Let me see what jail's about now then, bro. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was excited. I'm not going to get... I'm not yeah. going to lie. I was excited. People, I'm not a role model, so kids, don't... Don't listen to me <laughs> and get gassed. I'm just different, bro. You know, bro, I'm just different. Nah, but you know what? A lot, a lot of men did... Know, I, got, I was gassed. I mean, yeah, I was excited. I was excited. A lot of men did have that same yeah, thought but, process. Yeah, yeah, like, when they're young. And even when you was at that age, you used to see man come out of jail looking wham and used to wow. be thinking like, yo... If you did go, then you, you you're gonna get women Also, yeah. man, are saying jails light work. That yeah. was the thing. Jails yeah, are minor, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you went to jail. Wrongly. I don't know. Like, no, I don't know one man that has told me that jail's hard. Not one. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you jail's hard. Yeah. Jail's hard, bro. I don't know how them niggas are saying jail ain't hard. What are you on about, bro? Yeah. Are you mad? Ten years, twenty years, thirty years in the same fucking cell. Yeah. Bro, what do you mean jail ain't hard? Mm. I hate when niggas say that shit, bro, because they're lying. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean jail ain't So why are everyone in jail then, bro? Yeah. You know, because the smart ones know either I don't want to go there or two. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, ain't, yeah. That's hard, bro. Yeah. How long was you in jail for, sorry? Six years. For, no, for I'm, bro, I'm, I've been I'm, in and out. No, and, uh, bro, I went in when I was 15, came out when I was 17, went back in when I was 18, came out when I was 21, went back when I was 20. Two came out when I was twenty four. Went back when I was twenty six. Came out now I'm thirty two. Now I'm not going back. So so, over, so fifteen. Fifteen year years. Period, you've been in there for. Yeah, bro. In and out. out. In and out. In and out. So but every you... time I come out, I have fun. Yeah. You know, bro, and and I, and I don't know. Oh, it's mad. It's mad. Go on, sorry. When you when you're fifteen, yeah. and you're in there, like you says, you was gassed. You're in there now. You're on the wing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? What's that like then? All right, then 15 years on the... Give us a story. 15 years. Tell me what it was like when you first came in. All right, then, cool. I'm not going to lie. 15, 15 on the wing. Yeah, it's intimidating because you're seeing a lot of shit, you know. You're around a lot of brothers. You're around a man from London. You're around a man from Sheffield, Bristol. 
You're around man from everywhere. So, yeah, you might think you're on in your city. All right, all right then, perfect story. Carl, there was bare, there was bare rappers in there that are popping now. Mm. You know, there was KB, there was Young Tribes, there was Shucks. I don't know if you like, remember Shucks from Peckham. Mm. There was Bear Man, bro. I can't even, there was the next one, but I can't even remember his name. Bro, there was Bear Man, but all right, cool. Young Tribes, perfect example. I remember him. We was about 15, 16. Them men were talking about nine bars and boxes. I was talking about a Z. Them men are looking at me like, brother, <laughs> you're moving a Z, bro, and you think you're doing bits. I was like, bro, where I'm from? A Z at 15. I'm doing all right, blood. Mm. But that kind of showed me the mentality like, brother, she really, a lot of things are going on in this world that we don't know about. And until you travel, you don't know the different mentalities and mindsets about ev of everyone around you. So like you can be stuck in your own hood. Yes. Feeling yes, like... Yes. Like you're life. the man yeah. and you own shit. When really, brother, step outside that hood, you'll see you are just a bitch. So basically... no one. So basically, going to jail is almost like being on holiday to some extent. Because you're meeting people that you've never met before. You know, like when you go on, a, a, say, some people go um, trips away, in it, And you meet different walks of lives. You're going to jail now. And then you see not everything in your hood is the same as in everyone else's. Yeah, it I might be similar. A, I wouldn't say it's a holiday, though, fam, because now, they ain't just, nothing nice about that place. I'm just comparing it to a holiday, but I'm saying, like, for your experience, would, had, had, had you been on holiday at, before then? Realistically. All right, cool. I, I, I. I get your angle now. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. So to meet so many different people. Yeah. No. Yeah. So now you you come into somewhere now, like yeah. it says, London man. It's probably up north. Yeah. Down, down south. Yeah, you yeah, haven't yeah, really yeah. travelled like that. Yeah. And now you're all in one place. Yeah. And you're all sharing what you would see as new ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. New yeah. ways that you could be moving. You get what I'm saying? And you but, just seen how the other half live. But it's you know. but, but it's in a criminal way though. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. I mean, it's not to say you can't learn things from it. But like you said, 15, you, you come in on the wing and man are talking about <laughs> bank robberies, yeah. man are talking about murders, <laughs> man are talking about kidnaps, man are talking about a whole lot of illegal shit that mm. at them ages, you're thinking only big man can do them things. But I'm with real niggas, bro, that are fucking robbing banks at 17 years. Well, I was doing that. I was doing that. So yeah. 15 years old, mm. 15 years old. That's what I'm saying. All right, then cool. This is the fucked up thing then. Yeah, All right, no. you're getting me, you're getting yeah. me thinking now. <laughs> yeah. I went to jail on phone robberies. Yeah. Came out 17. Mm. Met, met all of these man prior. So I know about boxes. I know about robberies. I know about a lot of shit now. 18 years old. Me, K and Banks. Me, K and Blake's are robbing banks. We're, 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 we're robbing the fuck out of these banks as well. Like, you would have thought, bro. You would have thought we worked in the bank the way we was just running up and running mm. up and out of them, fam. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, bro. <laughs> so basically... And then from there, you see, from there, it was bank robberies. Went jail again, came out. So it was did, the gun thing. It was go, mad. Did you go to jail for, for that? Did I go jail for um, bank robberies? Yeah. Of course I did. I ain't going to talk so about that. Oh, thank Come you. On, bro. I, I just wanted, I, I ain't incriminating myself. I just people. wanted Come to on. be known nah, before man. that you're not talking about nothing you haven't been convicted. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. You've done, you, you so, done yeah, your man. time for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. They know about the bank, they know about the bank robberies, well, you can, bro. Give us a story. About bank robberies? Yeah, that All you right, can. Cool. I remember this. I can give you any story about a bank robbery, bro. I remember this. Cool. Blake's was meant to take me on the move. I was mad. Blake's was meant to take me on the move. Hmm. Hmm, got up early in the morning, got up early in the morning, bro. Them and, I mean, Blake's ain't phone, I mean, Blake's ain't answering his phone, Blake's ain't answering his phone, I'm, I'm thinking, what's going on? I'm phoning KB, KB ain't answering his, phone, answering his phone, I'm thinking, what's going on? Bro, I remember them and I just came to my house. Did them and come to my house or did I go to theirs? One of the, one of the two anyway. Bro, I've gone to their house or they've come to mine and my man's just gone, bro, here you go, boom. They gave me a bag. They gave me a bag. And um, did, did he, did he? Nah, he, them two had the chains. I'm saying, well, what's going on here? They're like, brother, we just licked our first bank. I'm saying, no, <laughs> no. They said, we're going shopping now, Looney, let's go. But I'm saying, brother, I, I'm happy, but I'm mad. Because I'm saying, yeah, yeah. nah, bro. How did you bring me? Why did it not come? But they're saying, brother, come on, man. Don't worry. We just had to make sure it was legit, bro. You know, 
the next one. All right, cool. Bro, two weeks, two weeks later, mm. I licked my first bank. Gassed. Gassed. Got up in that, I got up in that bank, bro. Had my hat low. I'm going to tell you how I've done it because I've been nicked. I don't care. Boom. We had my hat low, bro. I remember seeing the man in the corner. Obviously, we could only rub certain ones, you know. You either got the ones that, um, you either got the ones that come out like a, I can't explain it. The, the drawers, the drawers. Yeah, the drawers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you got a circle Trace. one that spins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. You can only rub the circle ones that spin at the time. So yeah, man, we're waiting for this geezer. He's coming with his box. All right, cool. Um, it spun. I've gone to run, but then I've realized, Joe, <laughs> He ain't even put the money in yet. I'm just eager, you know, I want this money. I see what them mm. man had. I'm saying, yo, I want this dough. Boom. Um, I had to store myself. He put he put his box in. They done what they did. He got his box now. Bro, I ran over there quicker than Usain Bolt. Boom! Hit him out of the way, he's dropped on the floor, picked up the money, bro. I ran so fast that, you know, when you get on the door, mm. and obviously you walk on the mat, the bank's open. Mm. Bro, I ran so fast that. The mat didn't register that I stepped on it and I ran straight into the door now. So I'm panicking. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm about to get back to my first bank robbery. What's the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Bro, picked up the bag again, hopped back off, stepped back on the doors, opened. It was like, hallelujah, bro. Ran off, boom, jumped in the car. 25 bags, 25 bags. Are you mad? 25 <laughs> bags at 18 years old, bro. Let's go, man. It was a wrap. So that's when life starts to yeah, change. Yeah, that's then. when it got crazy. That's when it got crazy. But Sorry, we went did on you go in there on your own? Nah, okay, so there's two of you gone into the yeah, bank. two of okay. us have gone into the bank, but obviously, I'm the one that grabbed it because we had to take turns grabbing it. You know, mm -hmm. one of them was the protection, the bodyguard, just in case any heroes got involved, and the other one was the grabber. So yeah, we just used to rotate every week. Oh, you was rubbing banks, bank banks every week. Yeah, to, it got to a point. It got yeah. to a point. Yeah, yeah, bro. So you like was moving like like set it off. Bro, we was moving. <laughs> we was better. We was moving better than set it off, blood. You know, blood. <laughs> We were shooting shit up as well, but yeah, that's another story. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yeah, but all right then, so, so it's coming to the stage now. Every week, this is going on. You're making a lot of money. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But it seems like money's not even a thing now. Yeah. No, it's it the adrenaline. Like, yeah. Is, is, it, is, it, is it a you lifestyle it is, now? It's the adrenaline because, all right then, cool. We're not only making money, but we're making music. We're not only making music, we're making enemies. So a lot of things are going on now, fam. You know, mm, mm. we've got to rob banks to fund, one, the lifestyle, two, the music, and then three, the beef. Because okay. it was frying, you know, mm. bro. So, yeah, we was doing a so lot. Why, why was the beef frying? The beef was frying because basically now, bro, I ain't been cool. It's not like you don't know. We never liked it's, the Lee Bank Eats. Yeah, okay, yeah. Long yeah, story yeah, short, yeah. you know, bro. Yeah. We grew up with them, mm -hmm. but their olders started chatting shit. Mm. I ain't gonna get into the story too tough because yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm a lot more respectable now. Yeah. But I knocked out one of their olders, mm -hmm. you know, bro. And mm -hmm. then ever since then, it went kind of left. Mm. So, yeah, obviously they were grown ass men. They yeah. were like eight years older than us, we're 18, bro. So, They're grown ass men, bro. So this is what I need to understand now because like you lot are active now. Yeah. You do, you, you got a certain level of confidence. Yeah. And now you're telling me the beef's frying. Yeah. But who's it frying for? Because let's go back to it's you. Frying a, for, it's frying for, it's frying for. I'm going, I'm going, I'm, the reason why I'm saying this is I'm going back to you as a, as a youth when right, you, cool. your first interaction where you didn't want to be a victim now. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? So now the, when you're going to this point now and you're saying the beef's frying, what, ang which, what, what, what angle are you then? Who are you then? Are you the victim? I'm the or? aggressor. I'm the aggressor. And um, also the guy that's looking over my back because okay. it's frying, bro. Okay. You know, I'm stepping out of my house. I know I can get shot, yeah. but I know I'm willing to shoot certain as well. Okay. You know, it all stemmed over. So I got shot, bro. I'm not going to say who and what, but mm -hmm. yeah. One of my members shot certain them. Mm. And then from then, man shows their side. They, yeah. all chose, they all chose to go with this dickhead. You know, mm. after when man yeah. was cool with them yeah. and man was doing a whole lot more, but yeah, they chose this dickhead. And mm. then from then, it went left. You know, it went left. Mm. There was only three of us, you know. So you've all grown up together. And yeah, me and me and me and, KB, me and KB, me and KB. All right then, cool. Me and KB met on the roads when I was about 14, but mm. we weren't around each other, mm. you know. Yeah. All right, cool. We got proper close when 
I went to jail first. Because yeah. when I went to jail, that was a shocking thing, you know. No one mm. expected me to go to jail. Like, mm. I, was a, I was a footballer mm, mm, and I was doing well in football. So when it was like, yo, Looney went to jail and that, like, mm. I might be doing my little robberies and that, but mm. I'm a cool guy. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, manageable, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Like, I, mm. I don't think I'm bad, mm. you know. So when they, when, 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 when the, when the ends found out I went to jail, it was a shocking thing. So yeah, say, say about six months later, KB landed in my jail. Mm. That's how me and my man got close. And then, bro, um, obviously, Blake's was a little bad dude from back in the day, bro. Like, mm -hmm. he went jail from early as well. Um, he was in that other gang that I mentioned, UTS. He was mm. one of the main ones in that one. Mm. So, all right, cool. He must have heard that, obviously, someone from the ends was in jail. Mm. Apart from him, no one ain't really gone to jail. So, he wants to know who the fuck I am. Mm. So, he's written me a letter. Okay. And then from then, me and my man got close through that. Got close through that. Real talk. I let her in jail. He 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 heard who I was. Wanted mm -hmm. to know. Met ripped me from then. We've been locked in. Okay. So obviously you're referring to people as dickheads and all that, and it. So yeah. I just want to know about the the beef here yeah, and and how you feel to it this day versus the beef's dead now, man. You know we won, but mm. what was I gonna say? <laughs> 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 what was I gonna say? It hurt me because I like the geezers. Yeah, I like the geezers. You yeah. know, bro. Like we was always around each so other. What bro. is that? What it was is more than anything. It's relationship gone sour. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and then there's yeah situations that are you can't turn them around. Nah, like well, nah. Like obviously, I'm not gonna see them and do nothing now because we're grown and like I said, we won. But fucking yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm so a day on them. anything yeah? right now? Do I hate on anything? A day, a them, you're saying it's done, but a day saying it's done as well. I don't know, bro. Like I said, bro, I don't know how they feel, but I ain't got no problems over yeah, here, bro. Okay, you then. know what you mean? So it's more about yourself then? You ain't, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right then, so. And it, the person that was the dickhead that got shot, bro, he ain't even, a, he ain't even about no more. You know how it goes. Yeah. He ain't on the ends, he ain't with them. So it's like, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You done this for a dickhead who ain't even about now, idiots. You know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you could. Give me emotional. Bro. All right, all right. Let's save then. So, when's the next time you went jail then? And it was it for the robberies, the bank. Yeah, robberies? yeah, the bank robberies. Eighteen years old. So now you're walking to jail for the second time. Now it's real now because we got a name now. We've been doing the music. And you're going to jail with that name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's I'm that established like now. I'm established now. So when you're walking through now, how's it, how's it different from the first time? Everyone knows who I am. And I've got enemies in here. I've wow. got niggas that want to beat me up just because I fuck with KB and Blakes. Okay. You know, i got niggas that want to fuck with me because they know I rob banks and I'm getting money. Okay. It's a mad thing now, like, yo, I'm feeling connected now. Mm. I got niggas in Hansworth that are hailing me up, you know. I forgot about the real niggas that I met in Hansworth. Oh, fuck, you know. All right, cool. I went to jail at 15. As I said, came out when I was 17. Went back when I was 17, but I never said this. Only for a month, recall. Mm. Come across Scribbler, mm. AD. Mm. Them man was on some serious cases. All right, cool. I've always heard about Scribbler, you know, mm -hmm. but I've never managed to put a face to the name. You see, when I met this geezer, blood, oh in my jail. god, yeah, in jail, yeah. bro. Oh my god, it was like it was like it was my long lost brother, bro. Okay. First conversation we clicked. Mm. We're in the gym training together, like we knew each other a hundred years in that, bro. I still speak to him now. That was my first real um, Hansworth nigga that I met. Okay. Ad was in there at the time. Mm. We didn't like each other. But we got close. All right, cool. His boss this case now, because he was on the AM. His boss case is phoned me straight away. Come link me. I'm saying, where are you? I'm saying, Soho Road. I'm 17. I'm saying, damn, Soho Road. He's like, yo, come through, man. Are you mad? I'm saying, all right, cool. I'm going to come through because you come out. Boom. That's my first introduction to Hansworth. Okay. AD. So it basically... Free him up, man. Is that when... You know, you start making affiliations. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. 17, um, met AD. We're linking up. Like I said, we're making music. We're robbing banks. We've got the beef thing going on. 18, 18, about winter time. Mm. We all went to jail now for the bank robberies. And this is when I said, I linked up with Bear Man. How did you go to jail? How did I go to jail for the bank robberies? Yeah. My mum. <sighs> Never <laughs> deep story. Yes. Down, my mom sent me to jail, you know, bro. Down. Yeah, bro, nigga shit. My mom sent me to jail. 
And these are the reasons why my mom sent me to jail. She she felt like at the time that I was in a place where she didn't know what was going to happen to me. Mm. Death was calling. Death was definitely calling. But so was a major, major prison sentence. So in her frame of mind, she was like, what do I want to do? See my son dead or see him in jail? Alive. And in her head, her sending me to jail was the best option. And it's deep because you don't mm. ever want your mom to be in that situation. But... Bro, when she done it, bro, I was mad. I stopped talking to her for time. Yeah. Bro, I stopped talking to my mom for time. I'm saying, bro, you sent me to jail. Like, niggas die in this place too. What are you on about? Like, how jail. You, how did she send you to jail? Um, I ain't done cool. Me and KB. Me and KB just come back from London. Me and KB just come back from London, bro. Long story short, something's happened. Got into a little situation now. Um... We're coming back now. I'm on, I'm on the run. I'm on the run for bank robberies, bro. And KB lives far. I know I'm supposed to go with KB. It's pissed me off. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to my mom's. I knew though, if I went to my mom's, I'm going to jail in the morning. Mm. But at the same time, I've been on the run for like two months now. It's getting long now, bro. You know? So I thought, fuck it. I'll go to my mom's in the morning. I'll just wake up first thing. I'll be gone. Bro, first thing never. Got, bro, they was there. They was there. But she told me, though. Mm. She's like, don't stay here, man. Mm. Don't come back to my house. I'm sick of you bringing police here. If you stay here, I'm going to phone feds. But at the same time, I'm thinking, you ain't going to phone feds. She I phoned think. the feds. She yeah. phoned the feds. I'm saying, yo, man. You went back there and she phoned the police. Yeah. You got there. Nah, I went back there. Bro, my mom's... The so next mom's, morning, my mom's a was whole there. lot slicker than that. Yeah. I went there. She knew I was there. Made you food. Bro. Yeah. Slept on the sofa. <laughs> bro, six o'clock in the morning. Elijah Skeen Thomas. Bro, I just looked up like, bro, you are... Yo, you are... I'm saying all of that. I'm saying, mom. Did you know it was her straight bro, away? No. No, I'm, it was the Fed that knocked me. The Fed's knocking me now. Like, uh, my mom's already let them in. Uh, six in the morning. Yeah. They're knocking me now. Mm. Elijah Skeen Thomas. Yeah. I'm saying, mom, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way you called the Feds. She's like, Elijah, I don't want I had to do. Like, mm. I don't want to see you dead. I know you, I know, I know you, I know, I know you mad. I know you hate me, but I'm sorry, but I had to do what I had to do. So how do you feel about that now? I get it now. You get it? I get it now. I get it now. It was a it was a crazy time. So Bro, how did you get twenty caught? niggas went to my mom's house? You know, yeah. Twenty niggas went to my mom's yeah. house, bellied up, yeah. knocking off the door. Yo, where's your fucking son? My mom's there, pregnant, saying, "Yo, my son ain't here. Get the fuck away from my door." They're saying, "Yo, tell him when we see him, he's dead." My mom's like, "Yo, I'm sick of this shit, man." Mm. I'm saying, "Yeah," but at the same time, we're, <laughs> at the same time, we're gliding, no. Mm. So it's mad. I can't really talk about that, but we're gliding mm, yeah. as well. So mm. it's just like, yeah, man, it's mad. It's mad. Did you know that um, these guys had gone to your mom's house? Yeah, bro, I glid the same night. What do you mean? So how did that make you feel? Bro, like I said, I glid the same night, my brother. I was mad. I was mad. What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? So now you're in jail again. How long was that sentence? All right, then cool. Um, we all went to jail. Even the upside went to jail. How yeah. did you get nabbed for the for the robberies? For the rob, um, how did I get nabbed? All right, cool. I went in there with my hat. Like I said, I used to when I was running out the scene. When I was running out out the bank, obviously, the wind. The wind's knocked off my hat. Oh. I've left it on the scene instead of turning back and getting it. Oh. I'm thinking, fuck it, man. I'll just, I'll yeah. be all right. I'll be all right. Obviously, I went all right. The feds got that, so that was evidence and. Um, a brochure. I must have touched the brochure when I was in the bank. This was the next one. Mm. We robbed about 10 of them. Um, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Touch the brochure. Fingerprints. Fingerprints again. Mm. That's how they bagged me. So you man was getting comfortable with these robberies, Bro, we yeah. was, we yeah. was, No we gloves, even, We were popping them off like street <laughs> robberies, nigga. It weren't even about money now. Was <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> like, was definitely about money, but... <laughs> yeah. Bro... Like I said, but we had a lot of shit to fund. We had a lot of shit to fund. Yeah, but like obviously, like when you get caught up in certain things, when you start to know how to have that yeah. know how, mm. it just becomes. Compl like you get complacent, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know like, all right, then cool. All right, then cool. I remember Osman spending 25 bags in a day. And she'd be like, yeah, we're going to get it back next week anyway. Mm. That kind of crazy, bro, you know. But you know what's mad, though? If you knew how to do other things to make money, you would just be doing them as well. 100%, you know what I'm saying? bro. Bro, Wait. if we had the knowledge that obviously we have now, back then, oh my gosh, mm, yeah. bro. It would have been mad. Big up Ace, though. Can't forget Ace because he's the one that put us on the moves back then still. Go on then. One more thing about the spending then. So yeah. when you when you make, when you get in this money, it's just straight splashing. Yeah, I'm not even gonna yeah. lie. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't stacking as much as we should have. We was buying designers. We was buying whips. We was buying guns. We was buying bullets. <laughs> That's what we was doing, my nigga. <laughs> you know why the chief in it? That's that's that's. This is my interpretation. That's their man, their story. Yeah. But that's yeah. how I remember it, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I story. remember it, bro. I'm was buying jewelry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not so, saving nothing. Cool. Not, bro. Nah. Nah. You was Not as much back. as we should have because we knew. Yo, weekly we're getting twenty five yeah. bags, bad mm. man. How you mean? <laughs> Don't worry. Spend that. Go make it back next week. So, I'm, a, I'm a putting in the work. I'm pre in the banks as well. Sorry, I'm making out like yeah. we ain't putting in work. Like yeah. we're actually getting locations, Homework. watching yeah, it, yeah, making yeah. sure this is happening on a weekly basis. Then we're hitting them. So you go jail again. Yeah. This is your beef, all that in there. Yeah, 18 You come back now. out again now. Yeah, 21. Are you not thinking, I'm not going back to jail at yeah. this point? Yeah, of course. You of are course. thinking like that? Yeah, I don't want to go back to jail. Yeah, so what does that mean then at that age? 21, I'm in a hostel. I'm living in a foyer, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get my own place right now. I'm even trying to get a job. Yeah. That's how real it was. <laughs> okay. It wasn't working, man. I started trapping out my hostel. So you was trying to get a job and it weren't working. Nah. Did you feel like you had the right support at that point there? Or was you still stuck in the same cycles then? <sighs> I would say I had the right support, but at the same time, the job, the job weren't enough money, bro. Just, yeah, see, because you used certain things. After that whole 25K business, mm. I need a certain amount of money now, bro. You're mm. telling me to go to work for peanuts? Nah. Mm. Nah, it sounds good. <laughs> nah. Did oh. you ever manage to get work? a job? Nah. Nah, nah blood. <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> I'm trying because now, of, though. Because of the money, though. Because of, you, yeah, you bro. You haven't got a job because you're thinking... Now and that wage, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I feel like you know what it is. I'm at a point now where I've learned how to think more sensibly now. Mm. So yeah, twenty five bags a week. That was a madman thing, you know. Mm. That was like a never gonna happen again. Mm. But there's nothing wrong with living in your means now, you know, bro. Like I don't have to put on the show. That's where my mind frame is now. Like I'm not putting on no shows. And how, how old are you now? Just I'm thirty two now. Thirty two. So yeah. twenty one. You was trying to have that same mindset. Yeah. Now. Yeah, like that's all I've knew. Remember, I've been yeah. in jail from 15, mm. 17, 18. Now I'm out 21. I'm still trying to mm. kind of get the money still, yeah, like yeah, live yeah. like lifestyle when mm. really and truly, like, nah. So, what's happening in between them years between that sentence? Like I said, I tried to, I tried to, time. I tried to start trapping, got nicked for that, and I was back in by 22. Okay. Was that so, they got me. You started, um, said, was that the first time you started trapping? No, nah, I started trapping from 15, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah from but 15. But you're saying you weren't, you weren't on the robberies, though, basically? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Nah, I was on both, remember? Nah, I was at like, 21. Oh, at 21? Oh, yeah. nah, bank yeah. robberies. How yeah, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's How done. no? You're done with That's that. done. Done! Mm. Over. Mm. Over still. So, how, so you, you've gone back for trapping, 22. How long you gone in, in for that time? I got two and a half. Two and a half years. I got two and a half years. Which is going to lead you to... I got 30 months. I got 30 months on that. So that's going to lead me to 24. That's when I met my boy. Okay. And obviously that's when I'm around Soldier more. Like okay. I've been around Soldier all my life, but yeah. that's when obviously he's rolling now. He's got a car. He's got. He's also got a big name for himself in the yeah. city. Mm -hmm. He's showing me around now. Like, yo, Looney, like we're not kids no more. Cause I've been around him since a teenager. Mm. Now we're kind of... We're 24, bro. Mm. Met these niggas, bro. New side of Brum. <laughs> it's like I met a new side of Brum, bro. Yeah. It was mad, mad, yeah. mad, mad. So what was it? What's the difference between meeting Soldier and being around like KB and like when you're younger? Because these are we in was jail. on gang they're, shit. They're in jail now, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, KB, yeah. me, 
Blake's all the man them back then, straight gang shit. That's mm. what we was on. We was on gang shit, but yeah. we just wanted we wanted bodies. We wanted all the we wanted all the bitches. Mm. Yeah, man. We just done that gangster lifestyle, man. Yeah. You know, fam. But these men now, fun. Like they made their money back then, ain't it? Like mm. they gone the gangster thing. They haven't been to jail. Mm. Not for long anyway. So they've got money now and they're saying, yo, bro, like. Yeah, we know you gangster. Yeah, we know you real. You are. Don't ever get it twisted. But mm. we're gonna show you a different lifestyle now. You know, lean cocktails. You know, but <laughs> expensive <laughs> restaurants. You know, blood like plush apartments. Oh, blood! When I mean, I had fun. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, man. I had a lot of fun. Big up Zim, man. Big up Soldier, man. How you mean? So this is where the gal them came into mm. play. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm in a relationship, so I'm going to keep it yeah. very, very respectful and professional right now. Yeah. But yeah, that's when they came in, my brother. So what was it about um, them introducing you to that lifestyle that excited you the most, you think? Because it was fun, bro. Like, I've been a savage for so long. Like, I was just I was just stuck in a gangster, bad man mentality, bro. Mm. But around a the man, them, I'm funny, I can be myself. But mm. anyone else? Nah, bro. Like, yeah. you ain't getting outside of me, yeah, bro. Yeah. But man, I say, bro, like... You got nothing to prove now, blood. Like, mm. just be yourself. Like, yeah. you're actually funny, bro. Yeah. They started bringing me around girls. It was girls that made me realize I was this funny and this handsome. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know I was this good looking, bro. They started, bro. They started moving mad. So when I started realizing, oh shit, mm. I'm attractive. Oh shit, I'm funny, bro. It's been a wrap since. It's so been before that, you weren't even thinking about nah, that. Nah, bro, I'm just trying to stab and shoot niggas and get this money. What do you mean? What my men's are yeah. up? Yeah, let's get him now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, these men are like, they, 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 they don't what they needed to do, bro. I swear to God, they don't what they needed to do, blood. And then from there, you just bro, from there, girls out there, niggas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've only, you know, what I mean, gonna, that's a different podcast yeah. still, my brother. That's a yeah, different yeah, podcast insane, still. Man. Yo, you've been warned, you know. <laughs> yeah, apologize. Yo, he was itching. He was itching. <laughs> Yo, all the niggas in jail won't eat pussy, though, man. Don't ever get it twisted. It's the niggas out here that are moving on mad, you know, bro. <laughs> Ladies, if you want your pussy now, I'm getting a nigga in jail. I'll tell you for free. That's all they talk about. Mm -mm. Is that is that is that your last sentence, yeah? Before the, um before the one you just come out. Twenty four, yeah, out for two years, then boom, caught a charge at twenty six. Okay, then can you speak feds, about that? Yeah, Fed try to kill me, man. Fed try to kill me, bro. Yeah. They tried to say that basically, I was um gonna endanger a life with a firearm. Yeah, and um obviously a food case as well. Mm. So, and um yeah, yeah, they tried to finish, man. Obviously, they tried to say that. How did they try and kill you? They tried to say that setting up into Blake's, I was gonna go around to the some person shoot him and then yeah that was that was that was that was the avengement apparently yeah so how did they get onto that all. this is what i don't understand bro you know bro like, because people need to understand that like you can be out here doing be a fuckery yeah, and obviously sometimes you feel like you need to do what you need to do but also somehow people are bro. watching you you get what i'm saying and bro. You, I can't really say too much, you know, lads. Yeah. I can't really say too much, but yeah. <sighs> That's a mad situation how they found out, you know, but yeah. yeah. We ain't going to say too much yeah, about that. Man. All right, and so you go to jail now. How, how long is that sentence? Bro, you, I'm stressed, you, bro. Because now you're back. The judge is the PC Sealy, you little bitch. She's moving confident in the fucking mm. interview room, bro. Mm. She's coming at me, bro. She's coming at me mad like, yo, <laughs> we know what's going on, you know. Mm. know what's going on you know so yeah you might as well just tell us what happened yeah i'm saying i don't know what you're on about man she's like yo you know where to tear done right to tear 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 you was gonna do what what, what? Yeah. i'm saying yo i don't know what you're on about you, you, you know what mean? you know what though talk on that as well you know because not a lot of people have been in a police station for them kind of interrogation yeah this like. one i'm not gonna lie i ain't never had this kind of interrogation before this bitch was moving like she had the juice. I'm not gonna mm. lie. She mm. was confident, man. Yeah. She was confident. She's like, we know this, we know that, we know this, we know that. So we're just waiting for you to tell us what we need to know. And then, yeah, you're good. Did you I'm, have that? Huh? Did you have that? I don't know what they're talking about, bro. All to this day, I got yeah. found not guilty. So evidently, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was innocent, like I was telling you, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 they were talking about 20 years. 20 years, you know. And when was that? When you was what, 26? 26, they're talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, you're getting 20 years for this, unless. 
Mm. You help us. I'm saying, yeah. yo, I don't know what you're in about. Also, oh, they gave you that what the, yeah. the, the, them ones as well. Yeah, yeah, fucking judge. Judge is telling us trial, bro. Two month trial, you know. Judge is telling us, yeah, yeah if you like, get found guilty, you're getting a lengthy sentence. Mm. You know, you're getting a lengthy custodial sentence. I'm saying, alright, they're cool. I know it ain't no 10 years because mm. they ain't left for enough. So mm. this nigga must be talking about a 20, you know. Mm -hmm. Bro, stress, mm. stress, stress. Well, you did get I'm talking to this man. I'm saying, bro, this man's mad at me yeah. because obviously I never spoke to him about a certain situation and he feels like he could have prevented a certain situation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, shit. I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> so many charges yeah. too many charges too ladies many and charges. gentlemen I was on a few charge I was yeah. on a few charge OT got yeah. bagged I didn't mm. even get bagged but someone got bagged that was with me mm. <laughs> and that then opened up my fucking floodgates you know mm -hmm. so yeah I'm on tag fucking hell I forgot I'm on tag I can't leave my house till I can't leave my house till 12 in the day this is when we're what this is when we're 26 people alright mm. cool Caught a charge, OT charge first, boom. They're trying to tell me I can't now leave my house until 12 in the day and I've got to be back home for seven. Mm. So I'm saying, what, well, I'm only allowed out for seven hours? They're saying, yeah. I'm saying, all right, then, cool. Month later, they bagged me on this shooting charge that they tried to do me with. Mm. I'm saying, brother, like, I'm on tag. Mm -hmm. I can't leave my house till 12 and I've got to be back for seven. So when was I gonna do this? You know. Mm. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. Okay, then. So you. So how long did you end up doing on that that last sentence now? Technically, five years, nine months. But we're gonna round it up to six years. Okay, then. Sweet. Then. So that will basically bring you up to to where now, you are today. Isn't it? Now. Yeah. But obviously, now. on this sentence, we want to say that you would have learned the most in it. I did. Based off your actions. I did. And I've been Things to 15, jail, I've been to 15 different jails. This is yeah. definitely, I've been to 15 different jails, but this is definitely the sentence that, bro, I learned so much, bro. Yeah, so I tell us about lot, that, man. then we need a story from this. About, all right, then, cool. When I say I learned a lot, I went through a lot. All right, cool. Where do you want me to start? Because I had a, all right, cool. Because I've, I've, I had I've, a son. Go on. That was born whilst I was incarcerated. I haven't been a dad to him, a proper one, since now. So from mm. 2018 till now, mm. well, 2018 till la last week, I haven't been in his life. I've just been phoning him through phone calls, watching him grow up through a picture. So you came out last week? Yeah, I came out last oh, week, no. bro. Literally, bro. Okay, oh. <laughs> swear. I've been, out a, I've been out a week today. Yeah. A week today, oh, yeah. nigga. You know, so yeah, yeah bro. Like, you I haven't been in his... Huh? You met, had you met your son? Yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. I used to see him on visits, but it's yeah. not the same, bro. Yeah. Mm. You know, you're only getting two hours with them and it's in a crowded environment. It's not It's not family at all, bro. You know, How old is your son now? Four or five? My son's five now. Yeah. My son's five now, bro. First and time you seen your son was on that On visit. a prison visit, bro. So how did that make you feel just seeing your son for the first time on a prison visit? It was a, it was a bittersweet feeling because I couldn't believe how beautiful this little boy was. But at the same time, I couldn't believe that I was never going to be in his life for, for now, fam. You know? Mm, mm, mm. And remember I told you I was lonely. Yeah. I don't want him feeling lonely because that led me down here, bro. Mm. I know what loneliness feels like, bro. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to leave him in that situation. I was pissed, bro. Mm, mm, you know, I didn't even really know his mom that mad. I mean, that good as well. Okay. We kind of just met. So it's like, it was a risk yeah. that definitely paid off. And I love her to bits, but yeah, man, it was mad. It was a mad yeah. situation at the time, bro. I'm looking at 20 years. I've just had a baby. I'm looking, bro, it was a lot going on, a lot going on. So is that going to be the reason for your change this time? Because yeah, that and also the people that I've met, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, you were saying in the stories, what, 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 what do you, in jail? What I met you... a lot of, I met a lot of good brothers, obviously. Yeah, I've, I met a lot of good brothers in there, bro. And obviously, like my brother just said, I became a Muslim and I done a lot of reading. And what I was going to say, I just started really, I wouldn't say getting to know people, bro, but starting to learn about other other things other than gangster shit, you know, bro. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I know shit now, for instance. I know there's 
two different Somalians. Mm. You know, bro. There's mm-hmm. Somaliland, Somaliland niggas, Somalia niggas. Mm. I know there's two different Turks. Yeah. You know, there's Kurdish mm. Turks, and then there's fucking what's the other ones called? Cyprians. You know, mm. I know bare different shit. There's there's bare different Africans. So you've educated yourself. Yeah, I'm bare, yeah. bare educated now. You can catch me anywhere. You can throw me in London. I ain't even from London. Yeah. But I know so many niggas from London. You can throw me anywhere, bro. Mm. You no, know, if I'm in Tottenham, then yeah, yeah you're not going to see me in Wood Green, in it. Yeah. You know, bro. Yeah. If I'm in Angel Town, then you ain't going to see me in fucking... What do you call it, bro? Um, I forgot their block now. <laughs> Kenneton. Yeah. You know, bro. Yeah. It's mad. So your mindset now is basically, you're definitely not going back to Nah. Town. My mindset is definitely, I'm not going back. And also, I've met a lot of good brothers in jail that I've got good stories and that I've got good links. So I'm just trying to bring it all together now, bro. You know, G, I'm trying to get out here and work, man. Tell everyone's story because there's a lot of men with some deep stories, bro, that can make a major influence even though they're in jail. But because they ain't got the voice or they feel like they're not relevant no more. Nothing can get in done. That's why I made that podcast because I'm saying, brother, are you mad? Mm. You men have got big, big sentences. You men are getting screamed out all the time. Mm. Free the lifers, free the lifers. What mm. do you think this is, bro? A joke, fam, a gimmick. Like, they, mm. they, they care about this shit. So I'm saying, all right, then, cool. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it, bro. And we're going to see how it goes. Mm. You know, mm. all right, cool. My brethren, Jacob, shout him out. He was the enforcer. Like, yeah. he's saying, all right, cool. If we're going to do it. I need you, I need you, I need you, and I need you. Cause we were the characters on the wing. Yeah. All right, cool. All the man them voted who, who who they wanted to be the host. They're saying you have to be the host. Mm. Cause you got that kind of personality. I'm saying I'll be the host, safe. All right, cool. We've done our shit. They started realizing, yo, one, they, 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 they like what we're saying. And two, man are still re- relevant kind of, mm. you know, like we, we, we can make a difference. So it's like, brother, <sighs> Yeah, I'm just mm. trying to make people know, man. Like, just because you're, just because if you're in a bad situation, jail or whatever, bro, don't mean that you can't do nothing positive. Are you mad, bro? Sometimes the worstest places bring out the best yes. in people. You yeah. know, like me being in jail, I never seen that as a, as a negative. I just seen it as a, as a platform. Like, bro, when I come out now, I'm gonna switch it up, bro. You know, bro, I'm gonna switch it up. Still, definitely, there's a lot to be achieved, isn't it? Okay, then, so if you did have a message for anyone from, because you've only been out a week now, innit? So, yeah. one, you got to put what you're saying into action, innit? Yeah. And you got to understand yourself now in this new in this new world yeah. from where you've been in for the past five years. So, well, if you're going to tell yourself anything now, yeah, yeah, what are you telling yourself right now? What keep, I'm telling myself right now. keep yourself in check. What I'm telling myself right now is slow down and just know everything's going to work out, bro. You know, you've got your plan. You know what you need to do. You're excited right now because you want everyone to see you and hear your music and that, but yeah, they're going to hear it eventually. Just know it's all about timing. Okay, and what are you telling anyone else that might feel like they're going through the same things as you right now? Brother! Anyone uh, else? The younger version I'm talking about. Oh, the younger version. Yeah. All right, cool. Ready for that one. Yeah. All right, the younger version. A 15-year-old me. Uh, maybe the 17-year-old. 17-year-old me. Just started getting them, you know what I'm getting saying? All right, then cool. I'm going to say this because I remember what it's like to be 17. Yeah. You are you are off the handle. You're gassed. You're making mm. your name. You don't give a fuck what anyone's got to say. I'm just going to say, bro, just know what you're doing, innit? Because mm. when you get caught... It's not a joke. Simple. Thanks. So I'm not going to say don't do what you're doing because I've been there. I know what mm. it's like. But just know what you're doing now, innit? Because these youths are moving crazy out here, bro. They're, they're getting crazy. man down and then they're posting man. They're, mm. they're tagging the location mm. where they got the nigga down. Yeah. And then wondering why I got bagged. You mm. never got snitched on. You just told the feds that you killed him on Edward Lane. Like, what are you on about, bro? <laughs> you know, get out of here. Yeah, so the message is know what you're doing, right? Know what you're doing, bro. Know what you're doing. Because yeah. it's not a game now. Judging playing fair. All right then. Um, I feel like you've told you've told us a lot, man. Is there and anything else you want to tell us yeah. though? Because I can see. Nah, yeah, I've, I've, these are just the notes that I wanted to touch on, and I touched on them. Yeah. I touched, oh, you touched on, them. on all of them. Yeah. I touched on them. Yeah. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna round it up, I've um, got a few things that I want to ask. Hit me. Yeah. Is that right? 
Yeah. I've got three questions for you, okay? Go on. So the first question, you know, at the age of 11, 12, yeah. what made you um, have so much confidence and pride at that age? I feel like my mum, you know, she always told me I could do great things, man. And she always taught me, she always taught me to always defend, stand up for myself, mm -hmm. you know. She always taught me to defend myself and stand up for myself still. Okay. Definitely my family, man. They definitely instilled confidence in me because they made me feel like I could do anything I wanted, but at the same time, I needed my dad, yeah. you know. Okay. All right. Um, second question. So upon reflection, um, yeah. do you have any remorse for the youths that you robbed? And do you have forgiveness for the oldest that robbed you? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a, I wouldn't say I got remorse for the people that I robbed, you know, because I never done it in a horrible way. You know, <laughs> like, I kind of robbed them nicely. <laughs> robbed them nicely. I, I kind of robbed them nicely, <laughs> like, you know, give me your shit, you know. But, yeah, I wouldn't say I got remorse for them, but, nah, I wouldn't say I got remorse for them still. The niggas that, well, the brothers that robbed me, I still think about them to this day, you know. I actually thought I was going to see him in jail because mm. I know that he's got life mm. and I knew he, 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 I knew what jail he was in. And I used to think, yo, when I see this guy, I'm actually going to crash him and he's going to mm. think, why did I crash him? I'm going to tell mm. him, yo, he tried to rob me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I got remorse now. I forgive him. I forgive him. <laughs> it's only right, you know. That's good. That's, that's good. good. I, I forgive him. I forgive him. One last question. It made me the man I am today, so yeah. <laughs> I can't afford him. Say that. <laughs> Go on. All right. So, um, so how can the acknowledgement of your mistakes and sins serve as a catalyst for personal development and positive change in yours and others' lives? Say that again, because I need to think. So, all right. So, how can the acknowledgement yeah. of your mistakes and sins serve as a catalyst for personal development and positive change in yours and other people's lives? Because I show resilience, you know, boom, and I, and I'm always, I'm always willing to bear myself and work on myself. So sometimes I act on situations. And then I reflect on it and realise I've done a wrong and I'll actually phone that person back and be like, yo, I'm sorry, you know, I shouldn't have spoke to you like that. So, yeah, the fact that I'm resilient, the fact that I'm confident and the fact that I'm passionate, my passion, bro, that's it now. And my energy, you know, bro, yeah, I don't want to keep bigging myself up like that, but yeah, I got flaws as well, don't ever get it twisted, my anger's my biggest flaw, but yeah. I got a, I got a few assets that I now know are positive and I wouldn't say cool, but the mind frame I had before, like yo, you can't be too funny and it, like you're gonna get seen as a nerd, you know, you can't you can't you can't do that, you're gonna get seen as a nerd. But now I'm just being myself and mm -hmm. people like me for me, you know, for me. So yeah, I can't I can't complain, bro. Did that kind of answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah it did, yeah, man. All right, cool. Definitely. Definitely. Yo, Loons. My brother, no my sinners, my sinners, yeah, my sinners. Much, much respect for this man. <laughs> I feel like I feel like to to start off that was major. Yeah, major. Let's go, man. Major. You get what I'm saying? That's how we do it in Birmingham, though. You know. And you know what? You know what it is? It's just at the levels already, so we know where this is going and 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 where we have to take it. So much respect for coming down. Anytime. You know what I'm saying? Time, like let's... sent out the message and 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 use on it straight away. So. Yeah. Massive respect for seeing what we're doing. I apologize for the lateness, man. I know it was unprofessional. Oh, nah, you're good, man. You're good. Probation, in the end, man. Right. Worth it in the end. But yeah, man. You can work on that, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Probation. <laughs> we're done, man. Right. All right, love. Cool.